This is a $400 pen, and this is a pen from the 99 cent store. Which pen is better? So guys, we're gonna go ahead and start the video by taking a look at the unboxing, which one's nicer. Well, the 99 cent store pen, you can't really unbox since I just went to the front of the store. You know, there's like the cup, you grab a pen out of there. There you go, you have your 99 cent store pen. But this one, the Mont Blanc pen, does have a really nice unboxing, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this $400 pen. It's honestly crazy that pens can be $400. Like, I guess anything can be $400, but you know. Anyways, inside, the, it's a nice white box with um, the Mont Blanc logo, but I feel like the box is too small for the case because the case is kind of hard to pull out, and then with the case, you get Service guide, writing it, instruments, Mont Blanc, and then in here it has like the different instructions for how to replace ink in multiple different languages. For the fountain pens, you got, and then we have like um, the this pen, and it comes with warranty, so. That's pretty nice, so if the pen does break, you know, you got your warranty. Anyways, so the reason that we do have a sticky note, my dad didn't want his name on screen. And so we just have a sticky note on the box, but besides that, it has like a little um, silver, like, plat thing. And it is on the box. The box is like really nice material. has the Mont Blanc logo right here. And then, beside, or this isn't really the box, it's the case on the back, nothing really. But then you open it, and there is the beauty. We got nice material, very soft, has Mont Blanc right here. And here's the pen, we're gonna pull it out right now. This is the pen, really nice pen, it has like some stuff written right here on the back it has the Mont Blanc logo and here's the pen itself I really like this pen I've actually used it multiple times before very nice feels very comfortable in writing so now we're gonna go ahead and compare the unboxing well there's not really much to compare the Mont Blanc is an easy win here Obviously, the Mont Blanc pen is way better for unboxing. It has really nice material, and the 99 cent store pen does not have an unboxing. So, I guess Mont Blanc pen gets the win. So, guys, now it's a comparison of how it feels to write and how it looks like with the 99 cent store pen and the $400 Mont Blanc pen. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the 99 cent store pen. Well, the 99 cent store pen, honestly, this pen kind of does, it, it looks, it looks nice. The only problem is, on this pen, it does have, like, you know, big writing, you know, 4A, on point, ballpoint, medium, 1.0 M, M, you know, like, not, not that much, like, it doesn't look that nice. It, it, well, well, it does look nice, but compared to this, this looks beautiful, like, Look at that shine and whatnot. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna write, raise red here. I'm gonna write in kinda big cause I'm using the camera. I don't know if it's gonna pick up really small, but. I'm just gonna be honest, I do not have the neatest writing. But for this, I, it sorta sounds loud. Just listen to me scribble here. Pretty, pretty loud, and uh, the the writing. Like I know my writing isn't that nice, but you know, the the way I feel when I write with this is just it kind of feels a bit like bumpy, like just very uneven. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at writing with the the four hundred dollar Mont Blanc pen. So the Mont Blanc pen, you know, just remove the cap. Looks really nice, the whole pen itself. All right, so let's go ahead and write. It 
it feels so nice. It's not like, like for the 99 cent store pen, like it feels so bumpy. And just listen when I scribble. It's not as loud as the, um, as the 99 cent store pen. Also, when I write with this, it doesn't feel like all uneven. It feels really nice to write with. Though, I just feel like the $400 pen, like, we don't really use it that much. And, uh, so, like, how I feel about it is just, like, it's kind of one of those things in life that you really don't need. Honestly, for this, like, with the writing and all that, you de I would definitely, the win would be the Mont Blanc pen. But what would I prefer to have? First off, a $200 Mont Blanc pen, if you have it out, you know, if you go to work with it, you know, if you have it out at school or something like that, you know, the likely chance of someone stealing it is pretty high. But, like, the use of this, the, the, the need to use it really isn't there. There's no point of owning a $200 pen. This was given to us as a gift, and it's really nice, you know, it's, you know, thank you. But, honestly, the, the, the need of it is really I want to go with the 99 cent store pen would be something I prefer to have rather than the Mont Blanc pen. I do feel like the Mont Blanc pen, if you do have that extra money, you know, just to throw around and spend money on stuff like this, like, if you were Trump, you know, I understand you got your... You got your small loan of a million dollars writing with a Mont Blanc pen. But honestly, if you're someone like me, or just anyone in general, I just feel like 99 cent store pen is what I would go with. Luxury is really nice for this. This, it isn't like terrible, like, you know, it's going to break. This pen is like, you know, I really, I feel like the 99 cent store pen is something I'd go with. I'm kind of repeating myself, but... Mont Blanc pen, either way, really nice, much better than the 99 cent store pen, definitely. Handwriting looks nicer, I'd say, a little bit nicer, not, not that noticeable, but yeah.